Thank you for tuning to the Smile Arts YouTube. This is the Smile Arts Podcast. Angry Al, going to be your uh, host for today. Make sure you click the link in the bio. Make sure you click the link, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. All podcasts, news, and all our new updates. Um, make sure you check out our website, www.thesmartalex.com. You go straight there um, for any information. If you got any news, you can go there and leave the news for us. All that good shit. So make sure you check us out and make sure you subscribe. So, online dating versus club dating, which is better? I bring this up because I feel sometimes people are embarrassed to say that they met somebody online. You know, they act like, oh, meeting somebody online is like, oh, like taboo or some shit. But, uh, I don't. I think, uh, actually, my opinion, I think online dating is better. Um, I just do. And this comes from a lot of experience in the club. Like, I don't want you to think I haven't been in the clubs and I wasn't in the clubs knocking them off because I was definitely knocking them off. But as you get, in my opinion, I guess maybe as you get older, um, the club scene becomes just a little too much. Like, I ain't going to lie to you, nigga. I'm damn near 40. And that loud music be killing me sometimes, nigga. I go into the Jamaican, man. I be going to these Jamaican parties. Them Jamaicans don't give a fuck, nigga. They they have 50 speakers in that bitch. Like, rah, 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 rah. you can't even talk to nobody in that motherfucker for real, nigga. That bitch be going. So, yeah. So, I, you know, some of that shit, I just be like, man, I got to get the fuck out of here, nigga. My head about to explode, nigga. I got a headache like a motherfucker. Like, I don't, I don't know. But. You know, it's different though. When you're in the club, like when I'm in the club trying to talk to a chick, you know, it's a lot of different things you're going to get in the club. See, like back in the day, you could go in the club and you definitely knock something off because a lot back in the day, most people who went to the club were single. Like it was very rare back in the day you would find somebody in the club who was, who had a man at home, you know, who wasn't in the club with them. But nowadays, that seems to be a regular thing, which. I'm not knocking it. You know, if you want to get away from your significant other and go out to the club and, and blow some steam off with your girls and shit, that's cool. I feel you. But as for a man out there, I'm in the water sharking, you know, I try to holler at you. The first thing that come out of your mouth is I got a man at home. I'm like, oh, bitch, what the fuck? I'm thinking, bitch, what are you doing here? I mean, once again, you there to blow off steam and shit, but I'm just saying, like, as a man, that's, that's how I'm thinking. But personally, what I've seen in the club is just, it's just bullshit, man. It's just it's just games. Like it's it's become a cat and mouse game. You know, I've talked to women, you know, and they sitting by themselves, you know, looking all fly and shit. Hey, baby, what's happening? You know, or hey, sweetheart, how you doing today? We'll start a little conversation, but no sooner I'll be like, yo, so uh, you know, can I can I get your number? You know, can I call you sometime? I got a man. You oh okay, so we sat here and had a whole conversation for a half an hour. Right? I bought you two drinks and you got a man, bitch. Okay. You know, that takes a toll on a nigga after a while. Um, because bitches love getting free drinks, but they be straight in relationship. Um, so, you know, you got that when you go to the club. Then when you go to the club, it's like you got to compete with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because you got niggas over here popping bottles. You got niggas over there popping bottles. The bitches that you trying to fuck with, they watching the niggas pop bottles. They over there getting glasses of champagne and shit. You could pop a bottle, but I ain't about to pop a nigga. I for what? You know what I'm saying? I ain't in the VIP. I'm not popping a bottle and I ain't going to sit down nowhere with this bitch. That's just me. But that's changed. Because back in the day, I didn't remember niggas could get a bottle of uh, a champagne for about $70, $80 in the club. Now niggas want $150, $200. So, I mean, it's changed. You know what I'm saying? It's just not what it used to be. Um, But, you know, going back to the women, you know, women come in that bitch, they have dressed, they have naked. So you like, oh, this easy act, this easy action right here. You holler at her, what's she going to say? I got a dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a girlfriend. And you be like, bitch, you ain't even got no clothes on. How do you got anything at home? Like, how would how would your boyfriend or girlfriend even let you leave out the house looking like that? The fuck? But, hey, she said she got a girlfriend, boyfriend, boom, I'll keep it moving. Now, if some people going to say... Well, you know, chicks just be want to see how serious you is. So they, we say we gonna have we got a boyfriend or a girlfriend just to see if you're going to keep going. No, bitch, I'm not going to keep going because what I look like. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, first and foremost, I feel like, yo, if I had a chick in the, in, in the club and she said, I got a boyfriend at home, I would hope that niggas would go the other fucking way and respect the fact that she got a nigga at home. But they, females don't fuck respect. They're like, nigga, I don't want a disrespectful nigga. I don't want a nigga who's going to respect another man. I want a nigga who's going to disrespect another man who... Who I'm going to say, I got a boyfriend at home. He's going to say, fuck that nigga. That's the nigga I'm looking for. It's like, no, I'm not that nigga. So, that's another club scenario that, that goes on. You know what I'm saying? As well, you got the riffraff, the niggas in that bitch. They want to fight, shoot and kill over a nigga stepping over some shoes. Or nigga that he, they didn't been trying to catch up with it from the hood. You see the nigga in the club. Now you want to shoot and kill the nigga. So, I mean, there's a lot of, just a lot of different variables when it comes to Dating at the club. Just is. Shit, you can possibly get killed. Ain't that? That's fucked up. So, let's go to online dating. Okay, let's talk about what that's about. So, you know, with the online dating, you got all the online, you got a lot of online dating websites, first and foremost. When you get into these online dating websites, it's pretty cool that you have lightweight a roadmap of what type of person you're talking to. You know what I'm saying? Or even what type of person that... Because if you see somebody, you're like, oh, shit, she look good. You click on her. You can read and be like, oh, okay, this bitch like dogs and walks in the park and she like Method Man and she she likes the same shit I like. You know what I mean? So it gives you like way to one-up in the dating. So now when I approach her or when I, you know, text her or chat with her, I can actually talk about some shit that's in her profile, some shit that I know that she likes or that she's into. So, you know, that gives it a plus. Um, so, you know, when you, can, when you can do that, that's definitely a plus, in my opinion, when it comes to dating. Just being able to know um, who you're dating. Shit, you know how many kids they got, if they smoke, if they drink. I mean, you, you know off top if you even want to talk to this fucking person. Because they can put some shit in there like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't smoke and I don't drink. Well, I know I smoke and I drink, so I ain't even going to talk to this bitch. Because I know she ain't on my level. You know what I mean? We ain't on the same shit. Whereas, I be the knocked chick at the club. You know what I'm saying? We be talking shit. She, I'm liking her. She feeling me. Then no sooner we get together, I'm like, bitch, I smoke. I don't smoke. Oh, well, bitch, I don't. I don't we ain't. We, we can't kick it, bitch. You got your own car? I mean, you know, it's just, it's just shit like that. That makes, in my opinion, online dating better than club dating. Um, as well as... When you're online dating, you, you, it's not because you can go to the club and not see a bitch in there that you like. Like you go to the club and be like, "Oh man, all these hoes is ugly," or you know, "Oh man, I ain't, I ain't seen nothing that I like." Online dating, you're not really gonna get that because it's so many females on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That you got a plethora of women to choose from, so you're never gonna be like, "Ah, ain't nothing here, nigga." You're just gonna keep swiping until you find something that you like and that you're attracted to, and hopefully. She swipe or, or text you back or whatever. I mean, y'all can take it from there. So, that's, you know, so I just wanted to talk about that a little bit today. Because, um, like I said, I've heard people talk about, um, talk about relationships and talk about um, online dating. And I've, I've heard people be like, oh, yeah, I met, you know, I met so-and-so online and we got married. And I met so-and-so on Facebook and we got married. I met so-and-so. It seems like when I hear people talk about meeting online, seem to be getting married and shit. Like, they seem to, you know, be like, yo, this is, I found the one I was looking for. So, we got to at least give it, I, I would at least give it a shot if I was you. If you were debating, yo, should I try online date? Hell yeah, try it. You never know. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you one thing. If you ugly in real life, you're going to be ugly online too. So, don't think that the shit going to change for you. Just because you're online. I mean, you're still ugly. You know what I'm saying? So you still want to try to make your look as good as you possibly can online. Because if you're ugly in real life, you know what I'm saying? There's, 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 there's nothing we can do about that. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if nobody was hollering at your ass at the club, then more than likely ain't nobody going to holler at your ass online either. But that's not true because, once again, it's online. So it's a lot more people to choose from. And, you know, somebody who may be ugly to me may be beautiful to somebody else. And that person may be online. So you might want to check that out. But, um, so yeah. So leave a comment. 
Let me know what you think about online dating and shit. If that's something that you've done or you tried or something that you tried and didn't like. Or if it's something that you tried and you loved it and that's, how, that's all you date now is just online. Just hit us up. Hit us up with some comments. Um, once again, you know what this is. Smiles Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the notification button. And, um, you know, we'll be back to you with some more shit this week. Angry Al, out.